Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue River Shields, Nestle, Stars, Peasants, Vassals, Conspiracy Theorists, Conspiracy Factors, Max Factors. Factor that in. I'm a useful idiot. Today I want to talk about the uh, murder of Ibrahim Todeshev. Um, this is the accomplice of su supposedly the Boston bombers and supposedly may have been involved in these killings that uh, are associated with the Boston bombers as well. And, uh, he was shot seven times, uh, once in the head, and uh, then when you read the details, it gets stranger and stranger. He was killed inside of his own apartment after an eight-hour interrogation and that also involved other people. And apparently other people had been interrogated in that apartment before, um, family members and friends, and uh, there were FBI agents, Massachusetts state troopers, and counterterrorism officials, so a room full of people, and yet for some reason they were compelled compelled to shoot this guy seven times. And uh, the thing that uh, is peculiar about this is, of course, what I already stated. And uh, here we go again with all the events connected with this Boston bombing just being so strange and uh, in inexplicable. And it brings up that question that I, I always have with these events. Isn't it a shame that every time one of these events happens, it can never, the details can never just unfold and confirm uh, what the story appears to be. And uh, it's so frustrating. It uh, makes you have to wonder how much cognitive dissonance is involved. And uh, really, are there really uh, diabolical forces at play? Are there really some kind of cover-ups? Are there really some kind of conspiracies? And, just the fact that we have to look at every event like this and uh, wonder that and just cause this uh, disorientation and, and this paranoia and this distrust. And uh, who knows? I mean, is, is that what the agenda is? And um, it also begs some other questions. So one, of, of course, is uh, some uh, question that people are bringing up. And that's the idea that how come all of these individuals associated with all these events uh, through much of the 20th, 20th century as well, how come they're always connected with intelligence? Um, somebody's intelligence spy operations, and usually the FBI and the CIA. Why is that? Um, and of course, the question uh, can be answered, but it takes you into the uh, territory of what people call conspiracy theories. But uh, it's hard to look at it any other way sometimes. It's kind of like all the uh, supposed domestic terrorists that have been captured in the United States, and they're all entrapment cases by the FBI and the CIA, and um, they're paraded out as the uh, clamping down on this massive wave of uh, domestic terrorism, when actually it's just a bunch of losers that are entrapped by the FBI with promises of money and glory. And uh, so uh, that connection with intelligence makes all these events uh, suspicious and unifies them. Then one also has to uh, look at the fact that uh, here you have the, this uh, one individual, and granted, I, I guess he was a mixed arts, um, a mixed martial arts master or a student, but uh, Ibrahim Todeshev uh, was in a room with FBI agents, Massachusetts state troopers, counterterrorism officials, and uh, I assume like heavily armed militarized police and SWAT team types or and whatever. So they're they're all in this room for eight hours, and so first of all. In an eight-hour session, this guy doesn't attack anybody. He waits until the, the eight, eighth hour, and then he supposedly lunges at him. Of course, now that story's been disproved that he was unarmed, which makes the question even more important. Like, um, why, why would he be a danger to a room full of law enforcement, counterterrorism experts and state troopers? It's hard to imagine. And that brings up my other question in general that that brings up. And why is it that we live in a country now where... We have so many unarmed people uh, being killed by the police, so many um, um, people with mental illnesses and cripples and uh, people in wheelchairs and uh, people who are depressed and people who are unarmed who not only end up being oppressed by the police but end up dead. And uh, it's, it's even more perplexing in this era where we send armored personnel carriers for drug busts and uh, soldiers, or soldiers, Freudian slip, Cops who are so armed, they have mace, they have uh, nightsticks, they have body armor, they have automatic weapons, they have pistols, um, they have tasers, they have helmets, they have visors, they have shields, they have boots. 
Um, and they have plenty of backup. How is it that so many people are ending up dead um, faced with that kind of uh, uh, force? And then uh, the other thing that, of course, uh, like everything else, all of these elements add up to uh, how come all these people end up dead um, after these sort of uh, events? Um, so, we, you know, 9 11, of course, all the uh, so called terrorists uh, theoretically ended up dead. And, um, and then we have this Boston bombing, and uh, one, one is dead, one is, uh, or, well, two are, are now dead associated with the event. I'm sure there's other peripheral characters, including the uh, uh, two uh, counter terrorism experts that were dropped out of a helicopter. Um, over the ocean recently who died that were associated with the Boston bombing. It's, it just creates these, uh, these uh, conspiracy ideas and, uh, and this distrust of events. And I, I just wonder what, uh, what it all means. Um, and look at all the uh, uh, Navy SEALs that have been dying ever since the Bin Laden raid. And look at all the uh, 32 people associated with, as witnesses after the Kennedy assassination, the John F. Kennedy assassination. 32 people associated with the case died in two years. And uh, we, Exxon Valdez, all the people that uh, were on the beach cleaning up the Exxon Valdez are apparently dead. Uh, a whole bunch of people associated with the BP disaster, uh, key witnesses, uh, eight uh, dead. And then 9-11, we also have dozens of uh, witnesses who uh, conveniently died after the event. So, uh, so I'm not one to... Uh, be into conspiracy theory, theories, of course, I deal in conspiracy fact, fact. but uh, here we go with another story that just uh, doesn't make sense and we'll probably never know, but uh, one has to wonder, uh, um, a guy in a room for eight hours in his own apartment being interrogated uh, in a room full of FBI agents, Massachusetts State Troopers, counterterrorism officials, uh, ends up with seven bullets in him and on a slab. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.